Hello everyone and welcome to our universe. Today we'll be talking about six more galaxies. So this is a kind of follow-on video to my previous video, Six Galaxies. And because that one went so well, let's do another video called Six More Galaxies. This will just be another six galaxies that I find rather interesting in the universe. So let's jump right in and talk about six more galaxies in the universe. So the first one is called ARP-188. This is also known as the Tadpole Galaxy. This galaxy is currently suffering a strong interaction with another galaxy. These are tidal forces that have created a 280,000 light year long tail. There are many bright star clusters containing a huge quantity of young and hot blue stars. The galaxy is 420 million light years away from us in the constellation of Draco. The intruder galaxy is estimated to be located about 300,000 light years behind the tadpole galaxy. Part of the beauty of this image is the many background galaxies. The second is NGC 1300. This is a kind of prototype of a spiral galaxy with a central bar. Some spiral galaxies have a central bar, but others don't. You can see the many star formation regions, and this is shown by the red emission nebulae, and also with a prominent central bulge of the galaxy. NGC 1300 is 61 million light years away from us, in the constellation of Eridanus, and the galaxy's diameter is about 110,000 light years, so this makes it a little bit larger than our very own Milky Way. The third is an edge-on galaxy, called NGC 5866. Galaxy NGC 5866 is aligned to our galaxy in a way that we can see it exactly edge on. Many beautiful objects can be observed in the universe are indeed thin disks. For example, the rings of Saturn, protoplanetary disks, and even entire galaxies. But don't be mistaken by the word thin. To put these thin disks into perspective, let's talk about the rings of Saturn that have a thickness of about 20 meters. But the thickness of a galaxy, for example the Milky Way galaxy, has a thickness of 1000 light years. And in meters it's not 20, but 9.5 quintillion meters. Number 4 is Stefan's Quintet. This is another beautiful example of a small group of galaxies. This is also known as HCG 92. The famous quintet consists of five galaxies, of which four of these galaxies form a very dense group. The galaxy in the bottom left of this image is a foreground galaxy and not connected to the others. The four other galaxies are in an early phase of colliding with each other. These produce tidal tails and heavy star formation, and these are the first signs of a collision between galaxies. It is most likely in the next 100 million years that all four galaxies will merge together to form a huge elliptical galaxy. NGC 2683. This is also known as the UFO galaxy. This is another example of a beautiful spiral galaxy. This one has all the features one can desire. An active star formation regions which are in blue, with bright clusters of young stars. It also has vast dust lanes, and a dense central bulge with mostly older stars. NGC 2683 is about 25 million light years away from us, and is a little bit smaller than our Milky Way. The final galaxies that I'm going to talk about are colliding galaxies, and a great example of this is the Antennae galaxies. This is two galaxies in the process of merging. It all started a few hundred million years ago, when two galaxies came so close that they started to interact. When this happened, a lot of the gas inside of the galaxies were compressed, and therefore immense star formation regions began. In this image there are billions of stars being created, and a lot more will be forming during the duration of the collision. You can see a lot of these blue star formation regions, which are surrounded by red glowing gas. This is also known as emission nebulae. You can also see both of the original cores of the galaxy, 
These are the yellow and orange parts of the image. These galaxies also contain a lot of dust, and there is plenty of material to create new stars, planets, solar systems, moons, and possibly life. So I hope you've enjoyed six more of my favourite galaxies in the universe. If you do have a favourite, put it in the comments below and let me know. And as always, if you've enjoyed the video, click the like button, and if you want to support the channel, click subscribe. Thank you for watching.